holla, city of squala. We had a sick night, bitches. When a monkey nibbles on a penis, it's funny in any language. <laughs> Fucking Bangkok. I got this shirt in Bangkok, and I just feel like it perfectly depicts how much of a tourist I felt and probably looked like. Bangkok gets us Westerners. <laughs> I feel like this video should actually be called What I Learned About Myself in Bangkok. Oh, actually, no. Scratch that, scratch that. Traveling changed me, bro. I feel like I really found myself, you know? No. I don't know what you mean. Okay, so, yes. So, Bangkok. As you know, if you watched my last video, if you didn't, I'll link it. I went to Japan, but I also went to Bangkok for seven days. It was a good time. But, kind of similar to the last video, I feel like if I just sit here and explain the trip with, with, word vomit, this video is just going to be a million minutes long, which, which no one wants. No one wants to see my face for that long. Just... So I want to share it with you in the form of interpretive da- no. In the form of high quality animation. Roll day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny, Jed. You know what I said? High quality animation. What I actually meant was a very poor and unsuccessful attempt at a quirky travel slideshow. You know the god-awful PowerPoint slideshows that you'd put together for a school project when you were 13? Think, uh, think that. A anyways, um, <laughs> enjoy. Okay, howdy doody. So, as you know, I was in Tokyo, so time to hop on over to Bangkok. We touched down nice and early in the morning, ready to attack the day. Yeah. Once we got to the airport, we were greeted with hordes of taxi drivers, all trying to drag us into their cars. Travel tip number one, pre-arrange airport transport in Thailand. So we traveled about 40 minutes from the airport to our hotel, which was right in the center of the madness. Our hotel was so awesome, and once we'd fully woken up, uh, we decided to hit the town, like the cool cats we are. And of course, have a drink. Or two. Or three. Or six. And ooh, carbonara. And did I buy myself some white guy tourist hair and pants? You bet your ass I did. The next day, we pretty much just hung out by the pool and drunk. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty everything looks in daylight, too. Hanging out by the pool may sound like a waste of time on an overseas holiday. But to me, it was a big deal. It was the first public place that I've ever been to without my shirt off after having surgery. Of course, I was terrified, but the waves of happiness soon drowned out any thoughts of doubt that I had. Okay, here's another travel tip for you. Tuk-tuks. You see them in movies and travel commercials. They look so fun and whimsical. Be prepared that literally 75% of them are fucking scams. And before you know it, you're getting driven to a tacky jewellery shop that you didn't ask to go to and being pressured into buying diamonds. I'm not Adam Sandler. I don't want diamonds. Sorry. Anyway, dodgy tuk-tuks aside, we spent one of the days being massive tourists and seeing all the popular landmarks. Oh, look how pretty. We also got our feet nibbled on by small fish. I'm not usually one to listen to Kim Kardashian, but damn, she got it right. Then we spent an evening on an unexpectedly romantic dinner cruise with a live cabaret show and all-you-can-eat buffet. Also, I took this photo of a girl taking a selfie because every single time I wanted to take a photo, she stood in front of my camera. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, but real talk, there were so many animals in Bangkok. And with me being me, I needed to get photos of all of them. Ah, okay, that's, uh, that's a crocodile. Or an alligator. I can't tell the difference. Oh shit, did I just do a racism? And yes, I'm ashamed to say, but we, we did eat some after many drinks were consumed. It was horrible. Sweet and chewy meat is never a good thing. No thank you. Then we just proceeded to continue down Kosan Road where we had uh, way too many more drinks until this lovely creature was produced. And then, of course, the best cure for any hangover, more pool time. 
Also, ice cream for breakfast. Just make sure you don't fall asleep at the pool, or well, Jesus. So whilst recovering from intense sun damage, uh, me and Arden thought the only appropriate movie to watch while we were in Bangkok was The Hangover 2, of course. So anyway, about halfway through the movie, I turned to Arden and said, hey, we should get matching Mike Tyson tattoos just for the lols. And he was like, heck yeah, let's do it. And as you should know, that's, that's all the convincing I really need to get a tattoo. So bam, we did it. Woo. What did I tell you? We're cool cats. We're actually really not. <laughs> I mean, this was us literally two days later when we were back in Tokyo. We're so cool. So yeah, that was my trip to Bangkok. Thank you, Arden, for coming on this adventure with me. If it was anyone else, I probably would have got sick of them a lot quicker. And of course, thank you to you guys for watching this video. <laughs> bit of a weird one, bit of a fail, but uh, I wanted to document the trip in, in some kind of way, so yeah. That's, that's what this was. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and uh, stick around for the next one, because um, I got some cool stuff coming. So, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>